for the wild and it's not it's not particularly well written like the the coding style you can tell he's probably not a professional programmer but the the concept the mathematics behind it like like wow i look at this and i i have a mathematical background myself and i can see that it it works like in every single way like in the same way that you can read spanish i can read source code so i can read what he's written and i can see the like it does exactly what it says. If I want to, if I took it and I changed the rules around to do something different, then I just get rejected from the network and my money just becomes worthless. And so he releases this source code and uh, he has this Japanese name, but people aren't even sure his name is Japanese because he uses English spelling. The quotes, he, he has this quote in the Bitcoin blockchain, which is from a UK newspaper. And then uh, finally, like six months ago, the community really started to take it up. Four months ago, he suddenly disappears. Like, and I really well, think he hasn't. I would say he hasn't really disappeared. Um, but Satoshi is very protective of his privacy. I think he just doesn't right. like the limelight, and he has uh, really stepped back from the project, and he's not involved in the day-to-day -day coding anymore. And he never had the right personality to kind of be the technical lead and, you know, be patient with people and you know, do all of the other things you need to do if you're going to lead an open source project. I really um, think he did it for two reasons, though. The first one is that uh, uh, he, he saw that the community's taking it up and, like, we, I have to let them take over now. Otherwise, if I dominate this project, then it's not going to be able to expand, which is a really noble thing to do. The second thing that he did, the reason he did it, is if you look in the past history, any other projects like this, you look at Philip Zimmerman in the 90s with PGP encryption, which is now used by banks, and uh, it's standard everywhere. You look at BitTorrent, which is made by Bram Cohen, and you see the, and also now with WikiLeaks, you see that the creators always of these new technologies have always suffered a lot of, uh, a lot of trouble and, mayhem and so probably he has like his own life and he doesn't want to like uh be subject to you know court orders and hassle which i think is really good way to manage the project to become distributed you know diffuse the the power structures uh Tyler? you've been watching this week in startups to watch the full episode click here to check out some other shows from this weekend click here